Hey, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com on Tuesday, May 6th. Um, let's go back to Twitter. First of all, and I posted this in the Stock Market Mentor forum today, my bad. The reason I'm saying my bad is yesterday in the chart of the day, I said, uh, you know, you don't really want to buy Twitter. It's not working for you. Um, you know, the insiders are able to sell. This is not a bargain. What I should have been doing is absolutely pounding the table. It's I can't I can't look at this 18% drop and say, hey, golly gee, aren't I so good? Look at oh, I called this move. I didn't. I mean, I I knew it would go down, but I sure didn't relay that to you in a real money making opportunity. So I apologize for that. I seriously should have been um, pounding the table, but I wasn't. So. Um, However, if you bought the thing today, don't blame me. That was your own stupid move. Um, now, let's look at the five-minute chart. Um, here's the thing. This was actually, a, you could get the, you could get the, put your finger in the air and know that this was going to be a bear day right away because this stock gapped down and did not come anywhere near the high of 36.10. The very next one, the high was 35.77. Okay, at this point, this was an awesome short to just short this stock and let it run. And by the way, as soon as you get off this short, do you sit here and watch every single move? No, you don't watch every move. You instead look at this and say, okay, I shorted the stock here. Today is the first day that all these inside sell, these inside um, shareholders, whatever, um, could sell. What was their cost basis? And Bob Pisani was pretty clear on this on CNBC this morning. He goes like the average cost basis of insiders is like two bucks or two hundred, two dollars and fifty cents. Like, do you really think somebody's not going to sell? A stock that they have a cost basis of 250 in, they're not going to sell it at 35 bucks. What kind of fool do you think is going to own that stock and say, I'm going to keep holding it until it gets back to 70 bucks? Anybody who's that stupid, frankly, is not smart enough to have gotten in on Twitter pre IPO and own some of those shares. You're not going to do that. Now, here's my sense I would want to continue to be short Twitter. Because this is a one-day thing, over 135 million shares traded. Most likely, a lot of those were actually the same shares, back and forth and back and forth during the day. I just don't think this selling is over. And when it is over, you're probably going to get a dead cat bounce. But this is a broken stock. It's just broken. It's kind of been broken for a while. But this was really the bust here. When this thing came down here, created this gap and it just kept on going this is a busted stock you don't want anywhere near it and frankly i went and bought some puts on it today late in the day is actually a spread um but uh, but yeah i still think the stock has more to go to the downside and if it falls below 30 that's going to be a real problem Okay, um, members over to the strategy session. I got some stuff there that's going to make you a bunch of money. And I'm serious. Watch the video. Watch the strategy session and take notes. By the way, if you're not a member of Stock Market Mentor, um, not really sure. Not really sure why not, man.